And a warm welcome to Newsline Live. My guest this evening is a member of parliament and Mr. Chandim Virakodi, who was also at one time uh, Minister of Petroleum. Uh, very good evening to you, Mr. Virakodi, and thank you. Good evening, Faraz. Thank you for inviting me. Um, uh, straight away, I'd like to ask you, um, uh, Mr. Virakodi, obviously uh, you are aware, as much as everybody else in this country, that Sri Lanka has a a tremendous um, economic crisis on its hands, uh, fueled uh, most likely by the fact that we have no uh, or very, very little foreign currency reserves. Now, we have a new um, parliament, uh, we have, we have, well, not a new parliament, but parliament's reconvened. We have a new prime minister, we have a new president, and we had the throne speech. But Despite my play, uh, prayers the other day, asking for at least one concrete action plan to lift us out of this economic uh, mess, um, sadly, there was no such reference. There was lots of policies. Why do you think that is? What is the need of the R, uh, Ms. Virakoli? Well, need of the R is, as you correctly mentioned, we are into a huge economic crisis, mm. a crisis that we have never faced in our recent history. So as a result of that, there are social issues, there are various other issues in various sectors, and also I must say all this is due to the fact that we have a corrupt political culture. Mm -hmm. We have to give a solution to that, but before looking into that, mm -hmm. we have to immediately try and resolve the economic issue because people are suffering. Hmm. We have to see to it that the, the the petrol and diesel is available freely and there is no uh, electricity cuts and uh, fertilizer is available and medicine is available. Hmm. So in order to do this, we have to have a common minimum program that all parties agree which should be implemented within a specified short period. Hmm. Subsequent to that, we have to go for an election as quickly as possible because as we are very well aware of, people have rejected this parliament. Hmm. The, the what is, whatever is reflected in the parliament as of now yeah. is not what the, the expectations and the feelings of the people in the country. Hmm. So there is a mismatch. Hmm. There is a, this is a disfigured parliament. So. We have to go for a get, give us a solution. But before that, this economic crisis has to be dealt with. So for that, the the best possible solution can be arrived at through a um, all party government mm. with genuine intentions. It mm. has to be a government that is only aiming at resolving the crisis in the country. That should not be a government to uh, strengthen a party mm. or fulfill pockets of the cohorts of the rulers mm. and it should not be a government that is there to suppress people, take away people's rights mm. and frighten people. That should not be. This period, this mandate is not given for any of those. We have to understand the president, whom we, the parliament has elected, has only been elected by the parliament, yeah. not by the people of this country. But the people of the country elected the parliament. Yeah, so that is, this is like, as per the provisions of our constitution, yeah. a president gets elected by a vote in the country. Yeah. But this is a unique situation where the the, the the president was elected by the people, fled the country. Mm. And uh, through a constitutional provision, a president was elected for the balance period. Mm. And the, the, the president, as well as the parliament, should understand the, the mandate, the specific mandate that the people right now think they have given to the president and the government, which is to resolve the economic crisis. Do, do you think that 
there are enough people in Parliament who by conscience, by using their conscience as opposed to their party stance, will band together and vote in favour of a dissolution of Parliament uh, prompting a, the calling of uh, elections, which you can do under the provision. Well, it is possible uh, to do. In fact, I have drafted uh, a resolution also to be submitted, mm. but I haven't submitted it because I feel the first priority is to resolve this issue, mm. the economic issue, to at least to some extent mm. before we go for an election. At the same time, uh, I do practically. Yeah. Uh, till March next year, we will not be able to dissolve Parliament because not many people will volunteer to, to go cast for, the vote. To cast the vote to go for an election. Mm. So why? What's it so is critical an, about it, March? No, March by March, mm. as per the provisions of the existing constitution, mm. President gets the power right. to dissolve Parliament. Right. So that. Lots of people in this country yeah. are waiting for that opportunity. Okay. At the same time, I mean, I must, I may, it may not be. I don't say that we have to have an election uh, by March. Mm. We may have, we may not have, but the country will have an opportunity if the country needs, if the people want mm. to go for an election mm. by a decision of the of the president. Right. So we should protect that right yes. which the people are expecting. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, <clears throat> now then, uh, Mr. Virakodi, what chances are there for this to actually happen? I mean, you know, the people, uh, quite frankly, uh, judging from my uh, meeting the public, they are at their wits end. Three wheelers although there's much criticism about them, they are queuing up and then they get a few litres of petrol, enough to run perhaps two days. But what about those three days? You know, 62% of our working population are daily waged, including these people who run three-wheelers, taxi drivers, fruit sellers, you name it. That's how it is. So, can these people continue to wait you know, uh, the the way people suffer, if you hear it's alarming. And if you go by statistics, the if you go by statistics, the, the fuel consumption, when you compare it with this year's January consumption, you see by this year's January also, lots of people are not using the way they were using. Mm. If you compare it with January consumption to this month's consumption, it has con come down, consumption has come down by three times. So three times? Three times. You can understand what a lot of people are, have lost their employment. Hmm. What a lot of people are suffering. And what how about many How many industries have come to a standstill? So the economy has come down. Come down. And right the now. electricity consumption, if you may look at it. Hmm. As of now, the the uh, the amount of electricity that we are using is similar to that of what we used in 2010 20 12 years ago we have gone back 12 years ago in terms of electricity in terms of electricity consumption you can understand the the way in which the economy and the industries and uh, lifestyle is contracted. Do, so do, it, 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 you don't have to go before a mirror to un realize that huge number of people are suffering as a result of such. Do you think that um, the those in power are trying to frighten the Aragale kids to try and preempt them from rising against uh, against them, against the president, perhaps even. They, after all, we have to realize that these uh, protesters also wanted him out, right? And uh, 
in a sort of perverse sort of way, he ought to be thankful to them instead, uh, as he was able to realize his uh, impossible lifetime dream uh, due to them. Yeah, it's like this. We must understand as a government, people are granted with certain rights by virtue of the provisions of the constitution. Yeah. Freedom to protest, freedom of expression are such inalienable rights. No democratic government yeah. is in a position to suppress people yeah. against them exercising such rights. Right. So, but at the same time, yeah. protesters, general public, yeah. also should realize, realize that they should protest, participate under the prevailing laws of the country. They should not go beyond certain limits. Mm. Otherwise, we will, as a country, we are a country that's suffering. Uh, I see your point. I see your point. Sorry to butt in, but you know we, we need to get we need to get to this thing. Um, do you think that, or have you are you privy to? Have you heard of? Have you read? Is there a rumor that there is a concrete action plan? A, B, C. This is what we are going to do to get this country moving again. Well. I can tell you, as uh, the opposition members of parliament, yeah. majority of the opposition uh, parties and members representing started a program along like uh, a few uh, weeks or months before, mm -hmm. months before mm -hmm. all this happened, in order to prepare a program uh, that decided uh, on a short-term program hmm. to revive the economy, which was a common minimum program towards resolution of this economic crisis. And even in that, we were very particular of what should be immediately dealt with, hmm. what can be dealt with m at medium term and what should be taken as long-term policy plans. That proposal was looked into by various professional bodies before we prepared the proposal. The, the, the various proposals that the civil society, mm. various professional organizations, various yeah. political parties had submitted were all taken into, into consideration. And then there was a political arrangement also was agreed upon mm. as to how to get all the parties involved in governance as to how the the Aragale and various other civil society members and uh, expert uh, professional services can be obtained uh, for uh, functioning of the government and resolution of these issues we had a we have prepared it and we have submitted it also mm. but at the as of now, I mean, we are too late now. We are now expecting for IMF to resolve our issue. But, but, IMA but, issue uh, but the IMF isn't going to give us any money because they want to see a workable plan. Where is the plan? Absolutely. So IMF is waiting to see what are macroeconomic policies. Mm. They are waiting till we uh, structure so they are all waiting. The IMF is waiting. The yeah. people are waiting, and all we can see are appointments of people irrelevant to the economic revival of the country, which is needed now. Well, I I think the, the it's time that uh, the president. I mean, we are all ready to support his efforts to resolve these issues. Yes, all that's Even very good, but we, we want the action. Yeah, Where's yeah. the action? So we want the president to expedite action because we we can't we don't have time we can't be waiting for so long now if now from the time imf we went to imf rather late but from the time we went to imf we have been talking about convincing getting bridging finance except for the government of india 
no other country. There's a limit to how much you can ask yeah, your friends. Yeah, the, the, as a, as our closest, one of the closest friends, India has supported us in a in a big way, but there is a limit that they can do to us also. But no other country or a friend has come to our help in a significant way. Of course, some have donated medicine, some have given small small amounts, which is not enough to resolve our issue. Mm. So it's a, I mean, we are still at, at, at a very uh, questionable situation mm. as regards uh, finding bridging finance. So till such time we get, uh, we have to, we haven't still gone up to the the, the board level. Mm. So uh, till till such time such decisions are taken, we we'll have to wait. And now, as of now, uh, as I understand, our uh, uh, monthly income is about 1 billion out of which 500 million comes from garments mm. balance 500 million comes from the rest of it mm. and out of uh, 500 million that you earn through garments garments we have to give 40 percent back back again again for imports uh, imports of uh, um, Let's, uh, uh, to, for the, for, we have to give it back for the imports of essential items to make those No, no, no not essential, the, the raw material. Yes, the raw material. Imp raw material. Yes. And then, out of that, let, let, let's, only uh, yeah. a certain percentage goes to, 25% only goes to the uh, treasury. Right. So, it, 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 it comes to about 75 million. Right. Let's say... We, but we need 500 million yeah, minimum. Uh, let's say, uh, out of the other 500, you get 100 million. Yeah. All put together is... 175 million. Our income as of now is 175 million. But to get full, only we need over 500 million. How, I mean, it's supposing it's at, it happens to us at home, how are we going to survive as a family? On that note, let's go for a quick break and take a peek at this evening's headline news from the uh, primetime news team at News First. We'll see you on the other side of the break, shall we? Oh, okay. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. Citizen journalists, know your rights and limits. Samaj Madhya Jala Haraha, Puravasi Madhya Karane Nialena Oba, Danuat Biyayutu, Neeti Me Ramu Alala Sangvidhana Kerana, Vishesha Vedamuluva, Agostu Hatvanada, Adam Aliya Padijuana, Vimasim, Vidoy Hatehayai. Organized by MIM, Maharaja Institute of Management. The President says the country will have to go through a further six months of hardship before returning to normalcy. SJB MPs meet President. Palavini Saka Chavate Bhuma Sartakova Osan. Abin Taik Maring Osanti Dukarino. Several MPs, including Dulles, say will not accept ministerial portfolios. Aragalea protest site will not be removed until the 10th, an undertaking by the Attorney General. Mahanamatero released on bail. Udaini Kalutantri and six others suspected of misusing President's flag further remanded. Rainfall to reduce after the 10th. Private bus owners strike ends. News first, Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And welcome back to Newsline Live. I'm in conversation tonight with uh, Chandima Virakodi, Member of Parliament. Mr. Virakodi, um, thank you for your messages. There's so many today. But, do you know, one of them is, I think, hit the nail on the uh, on its head. Talk, talk. No one positive action taken and the result if it has been taken. I had to. Which is what my prayer was last week. In a few days ago, I said, I pray that in this throne speech we will have one action plan. Instead, we've got. Look, Ms. Virokadi, we have got a plan that's taking us up to 2048. 25 years or something. Can we have a plan for the next 25 days? 
that is exactly my position i i i i, I told you a little while ago mm. we prepared a way forward at least the the government can take i think uh, uh, it's submitted to the government as well so they can uh, take it away if they want any fine tuning if they want to put their inputs and start operating but then but, but then he if the, the, on the same note rw was the president and uh, the other day he said something about the oil tanks that if we if we had let it go ahead then we would have no, the people wouldn't have to stand in queues as much as they're doing now well can you explain that former petroleum minister i think is uh, it your fault not my fault i think he has to take the responsibility i am very i'm telling you very responsibly mm. it was i who tried to develop develop those tanks hmm. i submitted a cabinet paper having studied hmm. cpc engineers were ready they were all out to develop tanks for consumption right and we did a, and we found money hmm. then so, uh, when we submitted the cabinet paper we didn't ask for the entire uh, 99 out of 101 yes so our p- proposal was for the 15, 99 was there no, yeah 15 to be given to india 15 to be given to cpc and the balance to be developed as a joint venture hmm. we just didn't stop at that we had talks with the indian uh, uh, government and then we prepared a business plan hmm. we got uh, reputed ernst and young to prepare a business plan hmm. and we were all ready to jointly develop the balance hmm. and with our own money hmm. to develop immediately eight tanks and then start operations our engineers are so keen i must give due regard and respect to them mm. i had to like as when i got it, uh, appointed the minister my first task was to go to trincomalee visit the tank farm mm. even before i assumed duties that particular night itself i went to trincomalee mm. so yes. what happened give me fast I went, what happened i went that i saw the 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 tanks came back immediately so i sent the engineers they did a wonderful proposal and you know half the cabinet in their observations they supported my proposal right that is how it was approved so now what and, happened and unfortunately i don't know due to unfortunately for the people, people of sri lanka unfortunately reason, for the people of sri lanka the prime minister the present president submitted a paper yeah. to renounce the the decision that was uh, taken by the cabinet so, sorry the say this again so the cabinet uh, agreed to your proposal yeah agreed and that was confirmed yeah after a couple of and and immediately afterwards the the engineers started i mean they were so keen yeah they started working on it mm. and a uh, a uh, paper of renunciation was submitted so it was so unfortunate and uh, i we had that we what, had that meeting what earthly purpose was that for why did you we, why did I the prime minister re- understand re- that? The, the but subsequently yeah when this government came yeah uh, minister uday gamma pillar yeah implemented the same cabinet paper and they entered into an agreement and formed a company where Sri Lanka has 51% and IOC had 49%. Mm. But mm. you know when I what I tried to do was something practical. I did a business plan mm. according to which Sri Lanka's investment is the land and the tanks mm. which comes to about like according to my calculations. Mm. Now the Colombo 3 acres were given at uh, each at uh, 250 US Twenty thousand US dollars. Yes, this has got eight hundred. This acres. has got eight hundred and thirty-three acres. Yeah. Leaving you leave aside thirty-three acres. Leave aside the 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 value of the tanks. Yeah. If you go by the land value. Yeah. Our investment. Mm. Our investment. The fifty-one percent value of the fifty-one percent comes to twenty billion US dollars. So had we allowed the Indians to bring nine at least nineteen point whatever million 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 US dollars. We out of our crisis, and we are billion or million, billion B B, two hundred and fifteen to eight hundred. Hmm. 
So we, by now, we are laughing. And our friendship with India is also strengthened. Mm. But they only wanted to float the company. And the, according to the, the, the former minister, Gamam Pillar, wanted mm. to run an oil flag. But it's so unfortunate. I mean, even now, India being our closest friend who has helped the country, we could have, I mean, we, we, we are Sri Lanka. We are Sri Lankans. We have a, 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 a prestige, mm. a dignity, integrity. We want to have a footprint in a, on our soil. So what is wrong in us getting uh, us as CPC developing uh, eight tanks for mm. which the, mm. the government have, government, governments have now agreed. Mm. But unfortunately, that could not be done. Mm. At least now, now that there is a company incorporated, mm. now that we have got